Hello everyone, Canberra Run here, and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. So we've got Azoria Spirits. I kind of was looking for ideas on decks. I was playing some uh, kind of standard with one of my goblin, with the goblin deck that I did. And I came across a somebody playing a spirit deck that was utilizing Patrician Guy, Skyclave Apparition, and Ascendant Spirit. It, I mean, I put up a good fight, but I think they just had up having too much. And it got me thinking, I can do that. So I went and did that. So what we have is we have a bunch... We don't have a lot of instants and sorceries. That's the only th thing. It's more of a using creatures. But a lot of it comes from the graveyard. So we have cards like Osher of the Fallen, Ascendant Spirit, Malevolent Hermit, Spectral Adversary, um, Danic the Pious Apprentice, which is going to be quite good because cards in the graveyard can't be the targets of both of spells. Um, obviously, all these cards have a dis disturb cost, and for that end, we also have Vega the Watcher. I only was able to fit two copies in, same as Patrician Geist, due to wildcard reasons, slash Vega the Watcher being a legendary. So flying whenever I cast a spell from anywhere other than my hand, I can draw a card. So there's a lot of stuff we'll be casting from the graveyard here. We'll dissipate just to give us a quick bit of countering. I've got Snowlands for Ascendant Spirit, obviously. Skyclave Apparition. Expel to exile target tap creatures. Uh, borrow Time. To exile things. Obviously Devoted Graph Keeper. Because I can tap creatures and I can just play Expel. And so the idea is we just play Spirits and then use cards like Patrician Geist and Nevergast Intruder. And then as an extra bit of fun, probably what I can do is I can just use Spectral Adversary. And get a massive Spectral Adversary off of um, my opponents. I was initially going to do one with Teferi who sets the sun around tapping and uh, exiling cards. But I ended up trying to play it and it was fucking dreadful to be honest. I will try and work Teferi into a control deck of some sorts. I might look around the internet to see what I can find. But we're going to run with this quick Azoria Spirits deck. And then I'm going to try and work on getting a Mono Black Zombies deck out. because I re or, or at least a Demir Zombies deck 2.0. Um, it won't be using Narfi like the one I did previously, but I still want to see what it's like. So anyway, we're just going to go into the... I'll tell you, we can go to Ranked. I can test this deck out. So I'll see you in the Rank queue. Okay, this hand is fine for a first game. We're against Wrath of God. Oh god, let's not get smited. Right, so we'll probably play Denik into Vega. There goes the borrowed time. It's the only god they can get rid of. Block there. Take too long. Learn. So, yeah, we got. It's probably a yeah. Oh, great right, pests. My only concern is that I'm not going to have a hand after this. There we go. Unfortunately, he took Vega the Watcher, so... I'm going to take the apparition myself, but oh well. Jimmy's just building up like something massive, so 
It's gonna be interesting. Okay. All righty then. He's got two life left. I'm assuming he's... I mean, surely he has to have some removal. I'm assuming... Yeah, he doesn't. Yep. He's basically got nothing he can play. I guess he just didn't draw very well. Um, so he just got free with Ascendant Spirits. Um, which can move on to the next game. Just suddenly remember I said I do all this in ranked and the first game is in the play queue. So, ignoring that. Um, we will be in the rank queue from now on. So, Snow Cover Plains, Usher of the Fallen. Try to play Malevolent Hermit, Malevolent Hermit first, and then go. So. Two in. Oh, bollocks. Um. Just steal it with more time. Uh, that's a point. I need another planes. Uh, there we go. removing all of his creatures. Brilliant. Nope, and he's done. Yep, I've got too much power. If you just do something to target, borrow time, to be honest, I'm just going to play Spectral Adversary and phase it out. Then it'll come back next time and just reseize the Bushfire Elemental. Um, anyway, we'll move on to the next game. Let's do it. Get a nice little one drop, that'd be great. Down to here. Oh, how nice. That's annoying. One of the patrician geists just went under. I don't have anything to get back from graveyards as well. 
I feel like it's literally who can get something out on the board first. Like, I've got borrowed time just in case, but... Never seen Power Word kill in action, to be honest. So I've at least got a 4-3 on the board. Problem is if he's just if my opponent is just going to have nothing but removal in hand, this is gonna become a problem. It doesn't help I just lost one of my patrician geists geists to uh Gravedigger. And he didn't even get to um stay on the board because he was instantly exiled. This isn't going to be helpful if he's just going to play nothing but removal. Dying anyway, so... I'll take a big hit from Grim Wonder and then, uh... Play the Malevolent, or Benevolent Geist. This is insane. 
He's got endless ca he's got endless copies of the same removal cards. So everything I do, he's just going to simply just consistently draw with morbid opportunities and just break my life. Yeah, I don't think I can. I can't. I can't keep up with this. He's just got an endless amount of. Oh yeah, you don't get the card draw because of the exiles. <laughs> yeah, he's just got an endless amount of um, power on the board. Of course, if I'm not drawing, if I'm only going to draw mana here, I'm screwed. I can't keep up with this. Something that can draw and just remove everything I play, uh, which is really frustrating. So we'll just move on to the next game. Yeah, this hand will be fine. We'll just play down the Glacial Footplanes and try and get Voto Graph Keeper and Denik out. We've got Neville Gast Intruder as well. Deal with that pretty quickly. There goes the dissipate. Behold my spirits. So I'm assuming they're probably somewhere gonna put Clara Cloth in it. Ooh. Ow. 
Give me that. Have a charger token instead of a Pius Apprentice. There we go. I can do that actually. And there we go. That was fun. So, yeah, we just basically cat stole all of his shit and then beat him up. So, yeah, that's what we do. We bully people. Um I think we'll call this a, we'll call this a shorter video and then I'll see if I can get a longer video with the next one which we'll probably do zombies. So we'll head to the outro. Actually, on second thoughts, we're almost at bronze one, and I might as well entertain you all for one more game. This looks like a good hand. Oh, Jesus. Um, well, at least there's one benefit to this. I thought you were dead. You're supposed to be dead. No, to be to be fair, I'm up, like cause like wind robber, soaring thought thief. like Ruin Crab a few other cards as well they're all still in the meta it's just they're nowhere near as um, strong as they should be oh wow bang goes the deck I exiled it as well. Is it? Is it you just see the you just see the rogues and the Demir signs like you're supposed to be dead. Okay. I'm gonna bring him back. Ooh, that's that's all of my spectral adversaries as well. Am I down a center spirit?
So yeah. This will be fun. If my opponent does anything. He's... He's gonna sound a bit presumptuous, but he's not rage quit, has he? I'm gonna be polite and say, say that if it's something like this, his internet isn't working. But uh, I can't help but feel that he might be currently in the process of uninstalling. I mean, I wouldn't unst uninstall off of this. Unless he still thought the Mayor Rogues was going to be amazing. But they but, I mean, they've not lost that much. They've only really lost Thieves Guild Enforcer and some of the Eldrain Mill cards. So, like, the Mayor Rogues Mill is damaged because obviously you've lost, like, Ferris Tutelage. You've lost. Um. Oh, uh, what's it? Into the Story? The one from Eldrain that allows you to draw four cards. They've, they've lost a lot of the combo pieces, but they've not lost, like... They've still got the Crab, they've still got Murpho, Wind Robber. Um, there's no Soaring Thought... Uh, there's no Thieves Guild Enforcer, obviously. They've just got Soaring Thought Thief and um, Zara San. But you just need to work around some of the some of the old cards. Kamir Rose is not dead, it's just severely unpowered. Oh yeah, he's scooped now. He's, uh, he's gone. He's decided he doesn't want to play anymore. So we're off to Bronze 1 against... What I'm assuming is an attempt at building Demir Rogues a new standard. But anyway, we'll head on to the outro now. So, I'd say this deck is quite decent. There are some changes I would make. The first of which being I would need at least another Patrician Geist. I could probably take out Vega the Watcher and put in another two Patrician Geists and call it that. But unfortunately, wild cards are fleeting at the moment. In the moment, I think probably maybe another Expel and another Counter would also help. I think you could probably take out Osher of the Fallen and put in... Where is it? Uh, yeah, Lunarch Veteran. Um, since you can gain life off of creatures entering the battlefield. So, yeah, there are some changes I would make. I kind of made this out of cards I thought would fit the bill, and just generally just trying to pack spirits in. Ascendant Spirit is quite good. Um, Spectral Adversary is really, 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 really good once you have a lot of mana on the board. Malevolent Hermit and Devoted Graph Keep. Graph Keeper can be quite handy. Especially because you've got a 3-1, um, fairly cheap if Devoted Grave Keeper dies. Um, Denic Pice Apprentice is good for a lifelinker. And then obviously Skyclave Apparition is a good card. And then you've got Dissipate as your kind of counter. And you've got Borrowed Time and Expel, which are pr both pretty decent. Um, yeah, like I said, mostly I just get four Patrician Geist and get another counter. And Lunarch, yeah, and Luna, Lunarch Veteran. Um, which is, I'd, I'd say it would make it pretty solid. I was going to do a version with the fairy who slows this slows the sun, and that was going to be sort of a tap on tap thing. And I did try a version of that out, and it just didn't work. Um, but I'm going to try and bring out a Demir Zombies deck. It's I've got a lot of the cards, but there's so much that is very very high cost. So if I quickly go into my collection, cards like zombie 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 zombie. So, oh god, I need to turn on the thing, don't I? The main issue I have is I need a lot of champ. Yeah, a couple of copies of Champion of the Perished. Maybe one more pop copy of Ludwig, Necrogenius, and then cards like Jadar Gulkola of Nefalia. I need, like, a lot of, um, I need a lot of cards for the Demir Zombies deck. So I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. I'll probably find another Brawl deck, which I will use, um for, I don't know, something like standard, maybe rather than historic. Might even do an Innistrad-focused um, Brawl deck, but we'll see how the time is. Obviously, I've got to work this around my job and a couple of other things as well. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Bear Run, and thank you for watching.